Okay, we um, managed to snag ourselves an extra day with the BFC Amola. Um, if you watched uh, my previous video uh, the other the other day, setting up the uh, M5B Mac up on, on demand grinder, uh, you would have seen me pour an espresso at the end. This was the machine that we used to pour it with. Um, I thought I might as well, uh, as we had a last day with it, show you uh, that I didn't cheat and that the espressos do pour well off this machine. Um, and uh, more importantly, I want to make myself a coffee. Um, so uh, I thought I might as well just try and get it on the film, uh, try and finish it off with a latte. Probably uh, embarrass myself, not really skilled with the latte art, um, but uh, we'll, we'll find out at the end. Um, she usually has a nice, uh, a nice surround uh, uh, on the top. Uh, I've just taken that off so I can show you the boiler. Um, the main reason that I like this machine uh, is the boiler looks really nice. Um, something that we get to look at quite a lot. The surround. So this BFC Amola, I'll try and get this into focus for you. It's a bit hard with the transparency of it. This is a F1 Imola, and you'll see the colour in a second is, uh, I think it's called Petronum Turquoise. It's the colour of the, the, oil, the oil company, so it's all branded up for an F1 fan. Right out of the box, I'm not sure if uh, that's why the person that bought it bought it, but um, if you were on the market for a machine, United F1, or it was getting an F1 themed cafe or bar. Um, there's the colour. I've got to admit, I kind of like it. It looks a bit darker in real life than it does on the screen at the minute. And there's the boiler. It doesn't look as shiny on the screen as it does in real life. Let me try and focus that in a little bit. She's got some really nice reds and really nice golds. I don't really see them that colour very often. I hope this shows up a bit a bit redder on the on the final cut. Uh, and that's inside her. So uh, important question, what's the coffee like? Shall we back in? Um, okay so I thought I'd do a quick Double shot with my double spark grip handle uh, into two single shot espresso glasses. Um, these are these are marked with the sides. Um, useful for any espresso machine owner. Um, there's probably a link somewhere about my general uh, person at the minute. We sell these on our website. This exact this exact shot glass. Um, they allow you to just make sure that you. Espressos are pouring nicely. Um, funnily enough, I'm missing a timer. I'm, I'm hoping to get one soon so that we can um, time our espresso pours on, on, on the video as well. Uh, that's a useful piece of kit to have. But at the minute, we're quite poor. Um, if you watch my video, I've actually put this up a little bit. So now we're, we're pouring a 9.85 second double shot. Been a long day at Indy, so we're uh, going for as much caffeine as we can get. And it should help to slow down the, the pour. I, I, it does pour a little bit quickly with the settings that I had the other day. Bit uneven. But I don't 
think it's completely straight to be honest with you from that. I think it is a little bit uneven the machine. Magic blend. That's a crammer. It's like a little pint of Guinness. So it's definitely pouring well. Quick latte, change the setting. It's a 4.9 second single shot. I've got it set to there. Okay, I'm going to tweak it. That's, that's it. Still a little bit right, if I'm honest. Put that one to maybe drive. And the double worked well at its setting. Could just be the baskets on, on this machine. Myself with a poor attempt at a latte oil. Just do the single button for it this time. Uh, I've already measured it, I know that it's definitely pouring more than that. Steam arms are really good on this PFC Amola. Sort of guarantee good steam, but it can be quite easy to overdo it. Just end up with a marshmallow on top. It always tastes good. Beginner, um, I'm even going to take you off and show you that because I'm quite impressed. Well, you know, I've set the bar, Nick, Craig, bring it on. See my my attempt, mate. Yeah. Rubbish. <laughs> Just set the grinder up to a five-second uh, shot, so hopefully the single will pour a little bit slower. Where's the milk? Uh, I'll get it for you. <laughs> I'll hold my finger on the bottom. Nice one. I don't know if you can quite make out the mouse tail there on the espresso pot. Use the free flow button. You tend to actually, to be honest. When you're using the special machine a lot, I, I find that I'm always using the free flow button rather than the single or double. Useful if you've got other things on your plate, though. If you're running a cafe or whatever, serving drinks in a bar. 
Ah, oh, it's failed. Let us have a look. I've had sips out of mine and it's still good. Oh, it's not that oh, bad, it's mate. It tastes nice. It's, it's not that bad. Nice. It's got it's got good texture. It's because we changed the nozzles. Oh yeah. It is. Yeah. There we go. There's Nick's Nick's first filmed attempt. Oh, there we go. I'm drinking this and we're having another. It's not too bad. It's more like a left heavy cleft. Uh, latte kidney. Crust with an apple. Mm. Oh yeah, good machine. BFC Emma. F1 edition. That is faster. <laughs>